Hi everyone, for this video I wanted to do some animation with Grease Pencil. So I started off just warming up and doing some sketching and just to figure out what kind of character I uh, would want to animate and I ended up with this character I'm drawing right here. Uh, so it's kind of like a little robot with just two legs, no arms and uh, a head. So. I really wanted to mess around with animation because it's not really my comfort zone like I'm not an animator and definitely not a 2D animator uh, but I'm just so excited about you know the possibilities and I feel like you know expanding my skill set um, will just be very be beneficial for all the other work that I do uh, in regards to 3D modeling and stuff like that and it's the best way to kind of explore potential um, uses of new tools and how to potentially um, implement them in other pipe other workflows and other pipelines uh, so <clears throat> I what I did here is I kind of blocked out uh, like the basic 3d primitives of this character and I start off with just the torso and the head and then I add also the um, like the shoulder pads uh, later on and I found that uh, using the the curve tool and then um, you know adding a bevel to the curve tool uh, allowed me to kind of create that the neck uh, and that was actually very useful or I thought it was um, gonna, I thought it was going to be useful and it was useful but as I was using it I figured it was you know there, there's a lot of potential for this to be um, something that I might use more in the future because you know it's one thing to draw perspective uh, shapes like solid forms but something like drawing tubes in perspective um, which is for example like a character's arms or legs are essentially tubes right um, and the ability to pose with a curve tool uh, very quickly is something that you don't necessarily have with just um, regular uh, mesh geometry so I'm I think I'm definitely gonna mess around a little bit with um, the like a, a beveled curve and crease pencil to try and see if there's something cool I can do there um, so I'm kind of just working through figuring out what kind of animation I want to do um, and I, for me this is really hard because um, you know, it forces me to kind of think outside the box a little bit and, you know, try to come up with something cool without really knowing what is going to be very difficult or what's going to be very easy. Uh, I mean, nothing's going to be easy here because I, I just don't have experience with this stuff. But obviously there's stuff that there's certain kind of animation that's going to be much more difficult than others. And so I decided to just have this character uh, kind of kneel down and then jump up really high and as he's in uh, at his highest point he realizes that he's gonna you know come out, out of balance and then he's gonna and then he falls down and kind of you know falls on his side and then he gets back up uh, and that's kind of the basic idea of this animation so that's what I kind of ended up with uh, I really again learned a hell of a lot um, doing this stuff uh, and I have a bunch more ideas for you know future uh future streams as well so this is obviously the the sped up um video from the the whole recording if you want to check out the normal speed video where i also uh, talk a little bit about what i'm doing um you can go and ch check the my twitch channel at um, twitch.tv slash game uh, and then you can see the recording of this whole process so I just want to, I know I keep saying it, but I'm, you know, to some of you, maybe some experienced animators, this is going to look really, like, really shitty and kind of um, not that great. Uh, so, you know, like, it, it, I'm not trying to come up with an animation masterpiece. I'm just trying to just figure stuff out. And it's really fun. Like, I, for me, animation has always been kind of a little bit out of my reach and uh, to the animation I, I really love to the animation but it's even more out of my reach right 
and crease pencil really allowed me to you know because i am comfortable with blender crease pencil then also allowed me to mess around with this now and you know i feel like this is kind of the beginning of something that I, I might do a lot more of um just for fun really so anyway i'm gonna leave it at that um i hope again this these kind of videos are useful for you guys uh, like i said if you want to check out the full length um video at regular speed you can go and check out my twitch channel